that tried to try to get him with that the, elbow, oh, but then forgot to bring that right hand up to protect. I see brought long and lean, 3-0 and as a pro with three knockouts. Stevens, 9-7. and seven. Guys has a, has, has a record of finishing fights, so. And Gavin, congratulations to you on uh, one of your fighters, Bar Tabashevsky, okay, getting the knockout win in his first amateur win. Uh, Bart, Bart did a great job. His coaches, our coaches at PCC, Diamond Heart did an amazing job. Ooh. Big shot by Stevens wow. over the top, sends Gaius down, and Gaius is staggered. He beats the count, but he's on wobbly legs. That's it. Wow. The Scots wow. Cowboy, Michael Stevens, scores the upset wow. of first upset round of KO. Can you believe it? The kid from Mayberry. Literally, Mount wow. Airy, North Carolina. Now fighting out of Tampa, Florida and Tampa Muay Thai. Pride got in the way. Snagged, staggering the whole time. So Fahma, 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 let me try that again. Fahmai jumped back up a little bit too soon. I think I would have taken, a, taken the eight count, recovered a little bit more. Yeah, right here you can kind of sneak that. Oh, there's there the first was, elbow. Should have stayed down. Yep. And they got two more elbows there. Yeah, he was going for the kill. Third elbow. And then the knee coming up yep. right there. I think he was a little buzzed from the first two elbows. And he wouldn't land too solid, but I think he was hurt yep. from the elbows, that's for sure. There. Fama absorbing. Hey! 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 
In that oh, elbow. this fight just got exciting! Big right hand. He gets dumped to the canvas, but he has he blocked. Eats a hook and throws him on the Wow! I think he was a little too confident coming out. That's right. He, he took two big, big shots to the head. You can see in his face, he was a little bit staggered there. He see definitely, if he's recovered. definitely got oh. caught. Comes in with a high kick of his own. He's trying to give a little bit of that back. Tying him up on the inside. Now he's starting to get the clinch going. He's forcing Gummendor to start the action. Gummendor stopped being the counterfighter. Now he's coming forward. That can get you in trouble sometimes. Not fighting your game. Halfway through the fourth round of this battle. Gummendor pushing it. Pushing forward. It's funny how that happened. It seems like Gummendoy was or was being the counterfighter throughout the fight, and he got caught with a couple of good shots. Now it's changed. Now he's trying to stalk. And and now we're seeing more clinching, which should be what Pawn Pitak would want. I think Pawn Pitak spent all he had in that last exchange. Good needed the body by Pawn Pitak. Tying up in the clinch. Good use of the elbow on the inside by Gummendoy. Under a minute left here in the fourth round. Good body kick by Gumbendoy. Steps back, gets out of range. A little slip. A small slip there by right uh, the Pondy Tuck. Uh, getting a little sloppy with the punches as Pondy Tuck swinging that hook a little bit too wide. 30 seconds left here in the fourth round. I'd like to see Pondy Tuck go for it one more time. Tied up through the ropes. Good strong body kick again. Oh, out oh, cold. Beautiful Big, left hand. Huge left hand by Dumandoy. Wow. Coming up on the end of the fourth round, he just rocked his jaw. Wow. One Bitak went down like a rag doll. Now, let's see a little replay of that at the end of that. Tried to try to get him with, with that the, elbow, oh, but then forgot to bring that right hand up to protect. Got a little over eager with that spike elbow. Let's call it the right hand. Leaves yeah. his hand down, just gets cleaned up with he, that hook. His right hand was down by his waist, and Guman Doi did just did not let that opportunity pass.